What's up guys? It's your boy Jake. I just came back from watching a brand new film, Under the Thin Lights, and I wanted to talk about it to you guys. Now, I'll give credit where it's due. I'll, I'll say it. Jason Japesman does a decent job. You know, it's your typical rom-com affair. You got your two lovebirds, super into each other, life splits them apart. They meet back about five years later, and all those emotions come rushing back to the surface. Will they? Won't they? I wish the film was from the woman's perspective. That would have made it way less boring. I think it would have been a really unique take to see what it's like to have someone go for you after all this time instead of seeing another film where you are supporting the one going for it the whole time. The one thing that the trailers didn't give away is that the villain in this movie is actually AI. Not only is Ethan going rogue every 25 minutes, but the AI is now too, and the sentient tech is down to become the new Skynet, able to dish out misinformation. Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Paul, and this video we're breaking down Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Now, A New Hope came as a massive surprise to everyone, most notably George Lucas. Expecting it to be a bomb, he didn't even go to the premiere and instead he vacationed with Steven Spielberg whilst the movie was being shown. Moving on. Now, using the 12 million he made from A New Hope, he decided to put that money into his production company, IL. Hmm? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Sure? I'm sorry, you're staring to the water over there. <laughs> no, I, I was just, uh, I was just thinking. Yeah, what have you been up to lately? Um, I don't know much, just work. Uh, actually, I, I saw a new movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What movie did you see? Um, it's called, uh, Under, Under the Thin Lights. Okay, well, was, how was that? It was bad, cheesy writing, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how come you want to watch it? Like, isn't like a rom-com? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it just, it just seemed uh, appealing, um, in that way, <laughs> I guess, uh, I don't know. I, uh, what's it called? I, I try to invite some people, but nobody would, uh, come, so, I mean, it, it is what it is, like, there's nothing to it, but, yeah. 
you probably watch it that bad? Huh? You wanted to watch it that bad? <laughs> yeah, sh- yeah, yeah, I would, I'll go along. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just interesting. I mean, you guys are probably fucking lonely, you know? I get you, man. You need a girlfriend? <laughs> nah, bro, I, I need fucking money. The fucking plus, I might as well just stay single because, like, I can save on gas, I can save on food, and to be my me myself. So, <laughs> that's funny. Well, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. What's up? Are you gay? No, I'm just asking. So the movie was not exactly good. I wouldn't even call it exactly okay. I thought it was pretty trash. But the reason why I called it trash is because the story just flat out sucked. The characters didn't make sense. The dialogue was sloppy. It was cheesy. You know, that the script can really kill a movie because the rest of the movie's great, you know? Like, it was shot beautifully on the Black Magic 4K. Like, the camera that I even own myself, right? This... This camera is a fairly consumer-friendly, uh, independent film camera that people have used on many past productions, and it was really, like, kind of inspiring to see that a person actually went out there that shot a film with this, like, because I want to do that someday, too, and this is just, it, it's really beautiful how they were able to do that. Um, I don't have money, of course, with the lenses, of course, like, this one just came with a camera. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, this movie, not good. Um... I would argue terrible, even. Uh, this is, I'd give this movie uh, a one out of 10, ultra trash. Uh, please only see it if you are looking for a reason to die. Do you guys know if Angel's coming tonight? Yeah, I think so. I invited him. Alright. Don't you guys think he's just a little bit weird? What do you mean? I mean, he's just like constantly contradicting himself. No way. I mean, the other day, uh, me and him were talking and he said he was a Suns fan, but he didn't seem to know who Steve Nash was, and I just don't know how you could possibly be a Suns fan and not know who Steve Nash is, especially because we live in Arizona. I mean, maybe he's just not a hardcore fan. All right. Oh, hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? How you doing? Doing good. You? All right, we're just chilling. That's cool. What's this? I'm building a boat. Sweet. Dude. There's this new girl in Outbound, and she is so hot. Can you smash? I mean, 
I, I haven't really talked to her yet, but I don't really know if I'm her type, but I think you might be her type. Yeah, what, what ethnic is she? I think she's Mexican. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it would work out. Mm-hmm. Is she uh, she's Mexican? Okay. So, has anyone uh, seen any new movies lately? Actually, I have. Uh, saw that new movie, Under the Thin Lights. Oh, isn't yeah. that the new rom-com that just came out? Yeah, yeah, it is. I just thought it was pretty interesting. What'd you um, think about it? Uh, okay, so it's it's predict it's it's really predictable. Like it's a stereotypical rom com, like will they, won't they type of thing. Um, it's like uh, it's like I I kind of don't regret watching it, but definitely not worth not worth going to see it again. Uh, but some of the scenes were shot in like Black Magic 4K. What's that? It's a camera. Cool. Oh, guys, I saw The Last Jedi the other day. That movie is yeah, absolutely. What's it called? Um, do you know the first Star Wars film that uh, the uh, they were gonna drop back in like I think 1974 or whatever? Um, <laughs> they. George Lucas, he decided to take a vacation trip because he thought it was going to bomb. And, uh, like, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they had cancer. What? How are you? What's going on? Um, uh, nothing much, just working. Working? Yeah. Anything else been doing up to lately? Uh, Gone anywhere? I, I hung out with a couple of people from like work. Um, we played like board games at one of their houses and uh, uh, we they talked about... Um, like one of them mentioned thought, uh, setting me up on uh, like a date. A date. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. With who? Do you know her name? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Her name's her name's Ashley. It's Ashley. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna go bowling next week. Oh, bowling. Okay. Cool. Um. Are you nervous? No. No, no. Oh. I'm sure it'll go well. What um else have you been up to? Gone anywhere? Seen um, any movies lately? Yeah, um saw a new movie called like the Under Under the Under the Thin Lights, uh yeah, it was, it was like really bad. Was, uh, oh, what was bad about it? Like so like it's just like a typical rom com. Like, it's just about, like, two lovers who who knew each other, but, like, eventually they get separated. But, like, they they eventually meet up five years later, and then they, it's, like, it was just so cheesy and just bad. Like, it's, it's just, like, it was just... Bad? Yeah. Okay. Like, well... Maybe it's just about a couple that are trying to make it through life, but things happen and life happens. No? I don't. I don't think that's what this thing was like trying to really do or accomplish. Okay. Well. Because I'm just saying, sometimes a movie is just a movie, and we go to the movies to for the experience. Um. I don't, 
I, I don't I don't think that's that's what like this movie was trying okay. to like get across. Though, well, you? no. Well, what I'm saying is not every movie has to be criticized. Um, people go to the movies just to enjoy a movie and go for the feeling and the experience. Mom, a movie is just a movie. Well, I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah.